Hello and welcome back. So, we are planning our next takedown of a crime syndicate. Why not? Two is not enough, one was not enough. So might as well make it free. And I'm I'm dominating the entire uh, city. By myself, basically. <laughs> and uh, we are about ready to head out, I think. And I'm uh, trying to speed up research. It is possible that we're gonna get a new recruit. Maybe after this mission, or soon, because we got a new recruit after we took down the first syndicate. So, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I think we are ready. If this was good enough for the final mission, uh, I think it, it should be good enough. Agent synergies are important. Oh, civilian casualties will cause unrest to rise. Oh, fuck. Sacred coil occupied this that. recycling plant. I didn't know they were so desperate for used plastic. This place used to manufacture ammo. For Advent? Yep. It also had poor security. That's why the local resistance was never low on munitions. Okay, let's breach. It's one out of three. We see a lot of people here. Eight. Last will be rooted and also receive an extra action point. Let's think about this. So Zephyr goes in first. The problem with action points is that action points, like attacks, usually end the turn unless you have special things. So we're gonna play it like this. Do we throw in a breach bomb? I think we might, because there are a lot of people in here. And we're gonna have blue blood last. Because he can use the extraction point to shoot. Time to move. Throw in grenade. We got disoriented. Nobody. Oh, we got some bots here. Oh my god! Patchwork! Your life purpose! <laughs> oh my fucking god! That's hilarious. So, for like, I don't know how long, like... Longer than you would play most games. I've not even met a fucking robot. Not a single robot inside. Now, well, I, are these robots? They seem robots. I, maybe they No, no, no. That, that, that one is a robot. That one is a robot. Here we go. <laughs> <gasps> damn, these robots are damn tanky. But Patchwork's ability only deals 7 damage, so... <laughs> it would be totally pointless. It would be completely pointless because you can't one-shot them. Okay, who do, who do we attack? Not someone who is surprised. We can go off to commandos. The androids are easy to hit. This, this android will get focused down by everybody. Okay, let's go after that android. Damn, he's damn tanky. What if I use poison? Oh. Not a valid target, I like that. The problem is, this is uh, 2 to 4 damage. It could be tricky. Okay. He's dead now. I don't think this android is killable. The commando is the easiest target. Let's shoot the commando. Well, we get shot, but... 
That's why our breach tactic is garbage. As we must. Damn. Okay. Commando. I guess we take that shot. Shouldn't he deal four damage now? Yeah, he deals four, four to five. Perfect. Shouldn't he have more action points? Well, this encounter one out of three. Hmm. Well, I can't kill these guys, so it's a little bit pointless to put damage into them. I can put damage into this android. Demolishing. And we can kill him. Okay, I'll we'll just parry. Oh shit. It's, it's, it's gonna self destruct. <gasps> Commando, what? Come back! This is a guaranteed kill on the android. Let's do it. Oh, we could use a little bit of heal. What about this ex self exploding guy? Oh, that's not what I wanted. So I can get close to the commando and maybe do a chain shot on him. Would this work? Pretty low chance to hit, but we can kill the android, maybe. <laughs> Come on! Come back, guys! So we deal 4 damage. Which should be perfect for the android, which is gonna blow up. It's gonna deal... we don't know how much damage. Okay, we're just gonna cap him. Four damage. I don't care too much about the bone heal. This is fine. Maybe this faction has like a lot of robots. This plant is processing advent mech parts, specifically the targeting systems. Okay. If Sacred Coil has access to old mech chassis, they could use these parts to build an army. That's right. <clears throat> We're risking our lives for janky robots. Let's just go. I don't care about aggressive enemies. Enemies are harder to hit. Let's just go together. Mm, let's not do refresh. Go, go, go. Boy. Oh boy. I guess we're gonna go on the android in the back. Just somewhat hiding. The problem with this is that he has two armor. 
that's a big deal. So we would either need an armor piercing ground to deal with this, or an assault rifle that shreds armor. We're gonna take a shot at the commando. He actually does have armor piercing grounds. No. Breach fire. Wow. AP rounds a little wasted. I'll just take out the commando. So it's not a full loss. Reaper. Kill the android. These are these should be ignored. Now this guy. This guy might get hit. This android most likely will will be really hard to kill for Torque. And these will act for sure. I can't stop that. So I'm just gonna hit the commando. Weapon disabled is good news, but they can just reload and shoot. You will atone! What? That makes no sense. Who would design robots who who just turn on self-destruct the first sight of any enemy and among your friends? I suppose like he's next to other androids, but damn. So we can pull in the commando and kill him. You lie down for a bit. We're going to the next area. Okay. So he does have armor piercing grounds, which should make him okay against the android. If we kill this android, though, not the best. He's the best android we can hit. The other android is pretty hard to hit. Not the worst, though. This would kill a civilian. So, I would need to go there, save the civilian. Hmm. Still want to kind of kill the other guy. That's not gonna work. Would ceasefire work on these guys? Oh, on the civilian? Grenade out. Come on. Oh, their weapon is disabled. Okay, that's pretty good for the pistol. Wow. Last round, we're gonna have some androids to deal with. So, yeah, heal. 
That is an obvious choice. Other than that, put damage into the android or the commando. The android is the easiest to hit, but also we deal the least damage to it. I just put damage into the commando. Seems like the android is gonna explode uh, on the civilian, which will apparently increase unrest. Okay. They wanna go. So, we will go next to the android and the civilian. Hopefully, he goes away. Get a move on. Then punch the android from over there. Get the shield on, which should protect against the explosion. We must advance. When it explodes. Oh, it deals four damage, regardless of the shield. Hmm. So I suppose we can't see him in the cloud. Shame you didn't resist. We can see him. Barely. He's dead. However, should I kill him though? So, let's just put down Overwatch. And instead of killing him right now, I'll just do a heal. I have a choice between uh, using my cooperation here, which will guarantee that we'll not, we will not get hit. It sounds good enough to me. Actually, I'm not sure Zephyr can. Uh, I'm pretty sure Zephyr can run in there, take him out. Smashing extremity. Also, take down. So, last part of this mission. How many people we have to deal with? <laughs> They're heading to the loading dock. Don't let them escape. I, I Let's want, okay? Some ankles. Torque. What? Ankles heal, don't they? So, let's go with Zephyr first. Torque second. Blue bud and terminal. I, I think we really should have someone who has an assault rifle. Time to move. <gasps> we do. Just we are running with the B team here. In a way. Like no, it's a mixed team. A very mixed team. We can target this in my face android. He will still shoot. <sighs> That's hard to justify to put bullets into. There's two armor. Another android. Damn, these robots are annoying. Oh, that's the android that ran away, but actually the chance to kill it is only uh, well, actually not, not, not super high she will deal Zephyr will deal 5 to 6 damage so this might work out, although the chance to hit is uh, a little abysmal I might just put points at the... just damage into this android. Okay, that's great. Okay, 
but if you use the Lancer shot, that, that, that is not armor piercing, which is a concern. So I'm just gonna kill the android. Just take some high percentage shots. That's actually quite high percentage. I might as well take it. There's a chance that we kill it. That's the target. Wow. That's that's a lot of people. Enemy EVEX remaining. Who's gonna run away? The robots? Yeah, that robot is planning to run away. God damn it. Cowardly robots. Let's move up terminal. Okay, let's go there and just prevent the, the escape Thinning of the android. The crowd. Okay. Our best chance to hit is Abysmal. We can throw a flashbang. I'm not even sure if they get affected. Let's throw it in a way that an android and a commando gets affected. He's gonna be fine. We got their attention. Too disoriented, but the robot is immune, obviously. Chain shot is not that great here. I might just do Overwatch. Actually, we could train her be really good at overwatching but uh, she's not trained for that currently it's not hopeless wow so a bunch of exploding robots will try to escape What's the big idea? That's gonna be pretty funny if the exploding robot will just leave and explodes and it's still gonna be bad for me because Oh, oh, no, he exploded. I mean, uh, um, ran away, right? Okay, the android will act pretty damn soon. So might as well blow him up. Tossing frag. What? Still good? We can hit the commando, but he's only gonna act next turn. Two of them are not exposed. Which one is ticking? And this one. This one is sparking, okay. So he doesn't get Time pulled for in, that's for sure. Face. Can we capture an exploding android? <gasps> no! I, I just pressed uh, space. We can't capture the android. Or, no, no, it was a subdue. Okay, I, gu I guess we can. Let's see what we can do. That's a good shot. Our second best shot is not completely hopeless either. That's not as good. What about a lance? 
that's not the worst either. So what about shooting this guy for 87? Because we have AP rounds. I don't know. I can <laughs> make two commandos wounded so they get finished off. Easily. Okay, let's hit the commandos. The hammer. Come on, androids. No running away. What? That looked like a shotgun. But Torque is so good at dodging. Okay, that hurt. Quickly now. They're really trying to get away. Okay, use the flashbang on the soldiers who actually get affected. Present for you. I thought this is gonna be an easy mission. Shattering. Let's even block the path. I'm not sure if it's blocked, but it might be. Ooh, can we kill the commando? With a chain shot, there's a good chance of that. Hmm. I suppose we might as well play for the heal. And do a chain shot. Oh, he's sleeping now. Whoa! We're just making sure. No! Are you fucking kidding me? <gasps> Our best shot is a, a purifier. Mm. I guess we can put her in harm's way. Commando will come next. Let's make sure it doesn't run away. Blue Blood doesn't have a target. We should have one from over here. Why is that easier to hit? 87 versus 72. Okay. Don't mind it. He's closer to the exit. Good job, Zephyr. Zephyr needs an upgrade. But, up upgrade, but I'm not sure where he's gonna get it. The job. Oh my god! Seven damage? Zephyr is bleeding out? I can't believe it happened! Thing is nearly empty. Okay, we can stabilize Zephyr. So he will be fine. Else we would need to go there personally. Also, the android is gonna explode. Okay, let's take a shot at the android. Wow. We need to deal with the armor. Yeah. Let's punch the commando. Plan on 
long you lie down for a bit. Hopefully that is not going to kill Zephyr or make me lose the mission. It's fine. Wow. So Zephyr now needs a timeout. Bloody robots! Oh, they all have armor. Okay, now we have to care about armor. A lot. And robots. I'm not even sure who's going to be the replacement. <laughs> okay, them. If Sacred Coil went after mechs, they need soldiers. But for what army? They were underground until Mayor Nightingale's election drove them to the surface. Their hatred for her gave them motive. Find out if Sacred Coil had the means to carry out an assassination. Well done. Promotion's ready, and we got agent oh, no, scars. I said it before, and I stand by it. Three One PD cannot get a handle on all this violence. <laughs> so what? We replace them with who? XCOM and their reclamation agency? Chimera Squad. I like what they're doing, but there aren't enough of them to make a difference. Yeah. Come off it, Roger. Is this another argument for mercenary peacekeepers? I'm not saying I Give me more guys. But if this gets any worse, I'm saying I could stomach it. Got it. I take your point. What? I unlock poison spit. Torx spits out a blast of poison that explodes into a deadly pool. Poisons all units in the area and does small amount of damage on impact. Free turn cooldown. Okay. So this is basically a poison grenade. Does this matter? It's a free attack that deals damage with a uh, long cooldown. Hmm. So Zephyr can't exactly go to the training area right now. Persons, all human. Stop these human abductions and recover them from Sacred Coil. Time is of the essence. They're probably dead already. What are you worried about? Oh, we can slow that down. Okay, more missions. Wow. Numbers game and uh, essential personnel. This is more worth it for unrest. We're gonna prevent four unrest. This is only three. So I suppose we should go here. But first maybe we should check what kind of uh, penalties Zephyr has. How bold? Mobility reduced by three. Uh, that matters a little bit. I mean, I want to get rid of it. If I just keep going after these robots, I could really use some armor-piercing rounds. Anything that just really punishes the robots? I need to get more stuff. <laughs> wow. A lot of my guys are just locked into uh, activities. So unless I want to take Cherub with me, <laughs> which I believe is going to be a terrible idea, which which would also mean that I even get less uh, ways to deal with the armor. Oh no. These runs grant uh, 5 aim to the agent with equipped. That's very minor. Let's see the, the load that we got. So this is uh, 65 Illyrium, a Bubble Weave armor mod, Incendiary Grenade utility item, and Kinetic Screen utility item. Whoa! What the fuck? I like the sound of that! Uh, what does technology give me? Oh, That's why the Illyrium reward here is very juicy. But, screw that! 
Bubble Weave Armor Mod, Incendiary Grenade Utility Item, and Kinetic Screen Utility Item. I don't have any of these. I guess we're going here. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have a quarantine uh, for this situation. Yeah, I, I think we gotta need the robot chick for this. Okay, send the APC. Let's go. I don't think I have anything new. I don't even have breach items. <laughs> okay, I was I was not the best with uh, with the upgrades with the, with the research. I a little bit rushed uh, weapon damage on uh, people who I don't even have in the party right now. I gotta take this a, a, a tiny bit more seriously. I'm not saying a lot, but like a little bit more. But also the the guy who uses mind control, I don't think he's gonna be good against the Friendly robots. VIP if you just see, you keep back. seeing robots, on the move. this is a breach. So encounter one out of one. Breaching now. So this guy will hit me, but also he has 10 HP, uh, effectively 11. So the game is really ramping up, as I suspected, and I need to uh, follow suit, for sure. I think these guys early game had like 6 HP maybe, Some something like that. Then they had 8, now they have 10. Oh my god. Do I care about the commando? I think the commando is the easiest to kill. And it also doesn't do a lot of damage. It's a guaranteed kill. I'll just take a shot on the hitman. Yeah, I want to hit the android. Anything that has armor. Zephyr has a uh, built-in armor piercing. Well, at least with an ability. And we definitely need armor piercing. I, I suppose it's possible to ignore armor piercing, but you s somehow uh, still gotta make it work. I have the target. Not armor piercing. There's like. Armor removal and piercing armor. Uh, Zafir will act soon. Now, what do we do? This is where we have to leave. And uh, we don't exactly know where will be they be coming in. These robots have 8 HP and 2 armor. Holy crap. The bruiser is a little annoying. The hitman... Who can be... Okay, I can pull in the purifier and the bruiser. Probably the purifier will act last. Maybe we can prevent the hitman. Oh, poison spit. Let's let's do that, I guess. How good is this? Not as good against uh, robots. This also doesn't modify the area. I mean, does modify the area. So civilians getting into this would be troublesome. I don't know. Oh, immune to poison? Wow. I 
actually, if we hit this, then the... Oh no. The civilian... Two civilians will blow up. No. How do I deal with this? Okay, we can... Come over here, save one of the civilians. Then go punch the hitman. Head down and move. Is that the only way I can hit it? Fracturing. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, do I ever do anything else than parry? So, about you. As much as I would like to move you, there's a turret right next to you. So, I'll just... Oh, no, I'll just hunker down. Who can be hands? Purifier. Sounds good to me. Who else we can hit? A trooper, very far away, a bomber. But the, but the purify is pretty damn close. Ugh. Purifier is disoriented. Yeah, that's not the best. I'll just go for a regular shot. I have to pay attention to the civilian casualties in these missions because apparently uh, the unrest goes up if anyone dies. Do I need to heal anyone? Well, Zephyr could use a heal. Could also use an action point. He's uh, well suited to taking out the turret and the bomber. We can't hit anybody. Okay, the problem is like okay, I, I give Zephyr action an action point, but then what? I can go for turret. Okay, go. let's give it go to back. Zephyr. There's a chance he can take out the turret. No, 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 he can't. It's too far away because his leg is broken. Else. I think he would be able to make it. Uh, let's just punch the bomber. Mm, from over here. Let's parry. Oh no, overwatching. Is these cars blew up. Can I <gasps> get in the turret? Nope. Pull in the turret. We can't do that. So, apparently, we can't use the tongue other than on our brethren that might be uh, against a uh, code, code of conduct of the police. I don't know. Don't care. We can get a little closer. Which is Cover probably a good ground. choice. You call that fast. Yeah, that's not good enough. Unless maybe use a frag grenade. But I could also just shoot at the trooper. Oh no 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 no! We gotta take out this turret right now. Frag out. So we can move the. The data guy. Managed to shred one armor. Fine. Please, go down. Actually, it might still not work. Let's do Reaper. Time for some snooker. It's a 
find location. Unfortunately, it wasn't a kill. Anyway, this guy needs to move now. But is this blocked? I think it's blocked. How much HP you got? He might die to the trooper. Damn. Okay. Then we're gonna put him behind uh, the car. It's not exactly guaranteed that he will be fine. Okay. Let's keep moving in. Rolling out. Next time, faster. Ceasefire grenade. I don't know. The lance. Dropping the hammer. What are you doing? <gasps> it would have been total bullshit if he just nailed a shot on the VIP. We need to go right now. Everybody just go. For reinforces imminent. Oh. I'm most worried for the VIP. But also I need to keep moving my guys. So we move. Actually, we can move quite a bit. This is not guaranteed. This is a 4 to 5. And he has armor. This is a 4 to 6. Damn it. That just opens up a kill. Oh my god. I can't go after that trooper. And we can't effectively fight the robot. So let's position like that. Although this might be a bad idea because I don't think we have armor piercing. Or if we do. Apparently we do. Oh nice. So we're gonna hide here. Which is pretty damn close to the finish line. And also pretty unlikely that he's gonna die. Get some heals. Reinforce is imminent. Damn soon. Can this guy just uh, not shoot anymore? Grenade out. And just keep moving. Killing the robot would be nice. I just keep moving full speed. Then maybe take a shot at the robot. Uh, this needs to roll high. Not necessarily because the car is gonna blow up. Not even exploding. I think I'm just gonna dash with the healer. We can't get the robot. Okay. That's so we can get out next turn. Nearly out of ammo. Not the best position. 
five enemies will come before her. Not enough ammo. Oh no, we can't make it out this turn. Poison spit. Uh, but if you poison spit, that that's an action. Okay. Torque only has ammo for one shot. That doesn't matter too much. Oh, this robot is not exploding. Let's just subdue. Come over here. So we are not getting out this turn. However, the VIP is. Just Watch stay there, this. guys. Oh. What is a robot? I like the flash. What do without the bang? Hmm. I should position in a way that uh, even Zephyr Smashing can get out. Extremity. Not stuck behind the car. Oh, she should use heals. Uh, that's for sure. Come on, do it. Oh, not enough action points. That's right. Can use it after uh, the punch. The VIP gets out. So we don't have to worry about him anymore. Heading to location. Mm. Yeah, they also deal more damage. Removing target. Well, we can take the free shot. However, I'm not sure if it matters. Wait. Yeah, I need to double move to get out. Which is not necessarily a problem. If he got out right now, that would be preferable because his turn is uh, toward the end so he leaves now the android doesn't matter and the healer leaves now as well oh my god okay goes there throws at the heal last moment to the is lower but the is more exposed and just go. Nearly out of ammo. Okay, we can go. What the hell is this mission? Just go. Fast as I can. This actually makes me want to play XCOM. <laughs> I mean, oh my god, only one got captured? Not like. Yeah, I mean, this is great. But like, just just to see height compares to XCOM. Not that I, I don't know. I, um, it's just very recently in my memory because it, it's been a while since I played XCOM. So we got Bubble Weave, Incendiary Grenade, and Kinetic Screen. It's hard to imagine the horrors of the progeny activating that psionic contraption in our city. To think of the loss of life at such a large ready. scale and without warning. Promote the agent. Yeah, oh, he's already threat of an army of untrained psionics. Certainly Rank five. they would have been viewed as victims of an attack, not a threat to be neutralized. Thankfully, Roger. We oh. don't have to find out. I couldn't agree more, Glorgo. So he fires his uh pistol against every enemy. Wow. Face off? Pretty good. Of course, it would be a little better if our pistol didn't suck. Oh, scavenger market opened today, and I got intel. Do you have something good? Increases aim by 15%. That sounds good. Reflex grip. Can I buy two? I can buy, buy two. And standard shot does not automatically end the turn. Let's buy this and buy this. It's also Thursday, so... Although I, I did spend, we should still 
uh, use the free fill team that we got. Just to improve one of the areas. Maybe this finance rank free. I don't know. Wait, how does it work? Minus one district unrest for completing district situations. But that wouldn't be relevant right now because there is no district unrest at all. Do I just value intel now? Above all? Oh man. This is credit income. Intel income. Lyrium income. I'm, I'm pretty good with credits now. Obviously we can't do that upgrade. Not right now. Illyrium income. I think we're just gonna go for the Illyrium. Let's see what we got. Uh, someone's got a train. And there is no better time to send in Zephyr to train. To, to get rid of that. And I'm not sure who's gonna be on the APC. Instead, let's just see. Anyone who's left over. Patchwork. Perfect. Uh, she can do that. She's also good against robots. And as far as I know, has an assault rifle. Right? Am I right? Click the wrong thing. She does have an assault rifle. So she's doubly so good against robots. Because uh, I also have a, a masterwork assault rifle. And we probably wanna... Yeah. I mean, these upgrades are pathetic compared to what is available on the black market. You just need the intel. And getting intel is, is apparently pretty hard because I I'm just getting it non-stop now. Anyway, uh, let's check these new items we got. Uh, let's go into armory. I don't know. Open torque. Loadout. We have the superior scope and the reflex grip. This weapon upgrade will allow quicker and more flexible use of the weapon. Standard shot does not automatically end the round. If we had this for patchwork, that means her, her pretty questionable. Wait. She only has 74 aim. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 25 aim? How do you have that? That aim is just stupid. Only problem is that her weapon is not as good. Aim of 85. Targeting system. I mean, this is pretty good because if you hit once, then a, uh, following hits are gonna be uh, 15 higher. Clip size increased by 2. Now that's super pointless. Increasing the aim. Anyone who just hits all the time with a heavy hitter probably should have the superior scope. I'm not sure about the uh, the magazine. Bubble Weave. Bubble Weave automatically triggers when the agent carrying it reaches 0 HP. Instead of bleeding out, the agent will be placed in stasis until the start of their turn. <sighs> the problem with that is that it's a bit... If you're already losing, it just kind of saves you that uh, time where you send your agent to train away their penalty. But other than that, it's kind of pointless. Blocks the next attack that would damage the agent. Can target self or an ally. Really? So this is basically just what uh, the guy has that never comes on a mission. Uh, I think Cherub. Uh, that 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 is literally that uh, that skill. And that that is a good ab good skill for sure. Good ability. So yeah, we're gonna use that. Investigate strange device. Uh, let's do that. Also, never mind. Uh, first, we gotta upgrade a district. 
Maybe it should be a district that actually pretty high in unrest. Like this one. So we upgrade it for free. Then we get some Illyrium. So legwork is complete and improved assembly is complete as well. And we got 65 bucks, 30 uh, Intel and 60 Illyrium. I think at this point Illyrium is just enough. We have enough. We'll Unfortunately, we didn't have that earlier. Disease, but it will take time to develop a cure. Some hybrid citizens are unimpressed with the lack of progress. The fade affects us. Only us. The gene therapy clinics could solve this. Open them back up. More on this story as it develops. Hmm. This is Celio Dash for Channel 37. So we can have two agents uh, assembling stuff here. That's just an option. Breach tactical equipment. Hold analyzer. So that that might be okay because we are breaching quite a lot. Requ required modular modular armor. So enhanced submachine guns, mastercrafted pistols. This would only affect one character in the team if we have him in the in the squad at all. Breach explosives, flash bomb. Hmm. The progeny has this live grenade apparently. Tur turncoat grenade. That that sounds ridiculous. I think we have plenty of uh, Illyrium right now. Okay. That sounds really good. But what are we really missing? Some some weapon upgrades? I would like to have weapon mods. I would like to manufacture weapon mods myself, but it doesn't seem to be an option. You just have to buy it off the black market. Progeny equipment. And this doesn't seem to... When we upgrade these weapons, doesn't seem to lead to anything. Maybe if we did enhanced shotguns, then it would lead to some something. But again, the game doesn't tell me, so again, part of the challenge, I suppose. Currently, we're not using anyone with shotguns. I mean, this might be okay. Those grenades sound okay, but at the same time, we're kind of dealing with a lot of robots, so maybe not. Mind shield, that sounds totally worthless. Relocation disc, talon, talon rounds. I'm not sure what that does. Like, is that like, uh, is that the one we have? Is that the armor piercing rounds? Because if so, I would prefer it was called armor piercing rounds instead. We got tracer rounds. We got trank rounds. Now we. AP rounds is called AP rounds, so armor piercing rounds. So talent rounds is not that. Hmm. One for sure. Uh, we're gonna relocate Cherub over here, and he's gonna be getting the intel. Cherub. No, I fucked up. Oh no. Game, why are you so bad? Oh my god. Maybe I should just uh, reload. Anyway guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and... Uh, next time? Next time I'll figure out what we're, we're doing. So, see ya.